All right, it's going to be a little controversial, but I know a lot of professionals who agree with me on this, so bear with me. It concerns table saw lubricating. Let's begin with the non-controversial part, removing the old gunk. Get under your saw with a stiff brush and clean off all the gears, anywhere where there's metal against metal. If it's caked on there really hard because you haven't used your table saw in a decade, spray on some mineral spirits that'll soften it enough so that some light elbow grease will remove it and we can see what's under there. Now comes the controversy, because people will argue online for hours about what the best lubricant is for your saw. People say use wax, because it won't attract much dust. And that is absolutely true, it won't. But you know what it also won't do? Keep your saw lubricated very long. Others say use spray greases like white lithium or graphite. I admit, these are super easy to apply. You can aim and shoot in all those tight places. But they ought to be easy to use, because they also don't last long. Both of these options will make your gear slippery for a while, but how often do you want to climb under that saw? I want something that's going to last a while. So you know what I use? Good old-fashioned oil. If you want to keep it light, you can use a light machine oil, like 3-in-1. But I know guys who have used motor oil for years, and some that even use regular old machine grease. Is this going to attract dust? Sure it is. So what? You don't think that there's places underneath your car that they've put grease that's going to attract far worse than soft little plant fibers? We're not talking about high-speed moving parts. We're talking about some iron tracks and gears that are going to be just fine with a little dust in them. Don't believe me? Ask anyone who has bought a new table saw over the last 100 years what came all over the gears when they got it. The answer is lots of sticky grease. But you're not going to find anywhere in the manual that says you have to remove that grease inside the saw and replace it with wax. The people who design the saws aren't afraid of a little grease, so why should you be? This isn't the first time I've said something controversial that'll make the internet explode. The other day, I said many weekend woodworkers can get by with one good chisel. I had to delete a lot of comments. I also said that you can do all your sharpening with one stone, and that led to a little hubbub. That's just how we roll over at Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. We bring common sense back to woodworking one issue at a time. You can read and subscribe for free at StumpyNubs.com.